never come before you people before, and so this is all new to me. And uh, first of all, I'd like to start by thanking some of the people, none of you, by the way, but some of the citizens of our my, my city, which would be Amanda Bryant, Linda Seeger, and A.J. Dittmar for helping me get my gas turned on this winter from the folk. Uh, without their help, <laughs> we'd still be cold. I had eight inches of gas pipe that I needed for six months. Couldn't get no help from the city, no help from anybody else to get that turned back on. It took a citizen to do it. I'd also like to thank uh, Tony, Linda Seeger, all the members of the Northwest Neighbors Association, everybody that's come before you time and time again just to have you people, I mean, ignore me. You know, I'm not stupid. I'm not here to think that you're going to hear me this time because I've watched better people from, than me come before you. But I've been down in the flood zone the whole time. They had to take me and my dog off my road. I've watched everything you people have done. And, yeah, I'm not a lawyer, but I know illegal when I see it. When you start tearing down houses that are the best houses, the furthest away from the flood, furthest away from the river, houses you haven't even bought yet, I mean, that sends me a clear signal. You guys ain't playing the game the right way. It's as it, it's, it's simple as that. Otherwise, you would have taken down the houses you paid for or negotiating for it down closer to the river. What you're trying to do is get rid of the best foundations in my neighborhood, in, in the city, basically. Well, I've been a carpenter my whole life. I can build anything, I can fix anything. And I will do it for free for anybody in the Type Check neighborhood that can find funding and get a permit for to rebuild their house. They can get the materials, I'll do it for free. To each and every person, as long as it takes. And I hope a lot of people hear this and decide to decline your offer to sell because there ain't no buyout ever coming. I mean, two years, uh, my grandfather used to, he'd be a trolley master on your guys' trolley system way back in the late 1800s. This coin, it's a trolley coin that passed down to me, my great-grandfather, my grandfather, my dad, and now, now me. He had a lot of pride in the city because the city took care of its people. Well, I haven't seen anybody. I had a little old lady, 80-year-old lady lived next door to me, her and her little dog. Little handicapped accessible house, one story. I could have fixed it myself in a couple weeks. If you people were ever going to help anybody, you would have helped her. She owned the home. I haven't seen that lady in months, and that house is now scheduled for destruction, and it's on my side of the street, right next to my house in the 500-year flood plain. That is until you guys change it. Well, I think only God can decide where the flood plains are going to be at. You know, you guys can dam up the rivers, and I'm holding the federal government responsible for that. But you people are supposed to take care of the citizens, not your damn downtown. That downtown that ain't, ain't been worth a shit for since Armstrong, Woolworths, and the rest of them left. There ain't been no business down there. So we need to start taking care of the people. You know, if you're going to buy them and take them down, fine. I can't do nothing about that. But I'll be damned if I'm going to let you just steal these houses. It's ridiculous. Pay the people, and then you won't have people like me getting all upset. And a good friend of mine made up these signs. This sign is perfect for me. Except for, it says, I want to preserve my historic neighborhood. I will preserve my historic neighborhood. Time check. It will be there when I'm done. Hopefully none of you will, because you've done the people wrong here. You need to wake up and start listening to people. Thank you.